Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get paid proxies and not just any paid proxies, but residential paid proxies. So if you like content like this, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you do not miss updates like this anytime we drop them. Now the platform I'm going to introduce to you guys not only gives us access to buy these residential proxies, but they go a step further to give us some of these residential proxies for free. Now if you are looking to create a foreign PayPal account like a UK PayPal account or a US PayPal account, or you are looking to create a foreign social media account on TikTok, X or even Instagram, or you just want to partake in a survey that is not available in your country, then I'll recommend these proxies for you because these are residential proxies and they are very good. So without wasting much time, let's get into the tutorial and let me show you guys how you can get access to these residential proxies. Okay guys, so the first thing I want you to do is head over to your browser and open this website. I'll leave the link in the description. The name of the website is called webshare.io. And as you can see on their website, they offer various types of proxies, including residential proxies, which is the proxies we are interested in. Now on the website, before you sign up for an account, I want you to take notice of the 10 free proxies that they are going to provide you when you create an account with no credit card needed. Just sign up and you get access to 10 free proxies. So let's go ahead and do that. Tap with the start with Google button. Over here on this page, tap on sign up. Now sign up with your Google account. Now, as you can see, we have been greeted with their free plan, who gives us access to 10 premium proxies, one gigabyte worth of monthly bandwidth, and the proxies are from multiple countries. Now, over here, you are on the dashboard of webshare.io, where you can manage all your proxies that you purchase or the ones that you have currently. So let's take a look at our free proxies. Tap on view my proxy list button over here. Over here on this page, you can see you have been given access to 10 free proxies. Now, these are not just any proxies. Like I said, these are residential proxies. Over here on the list of available free proxies, you can see the proxy address, the port number, the username, password, the status of the proxy. Clearly, it shows working. So which means all these proxies are working. They are not dead. And last but not least, you can see the country and city where these proxies will take you if you connect to them. Okay, so now that we have seen our free proxies, let me show you the one gigabyte bandwidth that we received in addition to the 10 free proxies. Tap on the hamburger icon at the top right corner. This will open a side menu. Tap on free. In the sub menu, tap on stats. Now scroll down until you see proxy usage. Now over here, you can see that we have been given one gigabyte total bandwidth to use in addition with our 10 free proxies. Now, for those of you who do not know what a bandwidth is, a bandwidth is simply the amount of internet data you use with a proxy server. To get a clear understanding, think of it this way. Residential proxies are like phone numbers that you use to browse the internet. And the bandwidth is like the data bundle that you buy for that number in order to browse the internet. So you can't have residential proxies without buying a bandwidth. You need the bandwidth in addition to your residential proxies before you can access the internet and browse. And in this case, as part of our free package, we have been given one gigabyte of free bandwidth. So always make sure to keep an eye on your bandwidth usage so you do not run out of bandwidth whilst you still have a lot of proxies that you haven't used. However, if you do run out of bandwidth, you can always buy more. So now that we have our free proxies and we have our bandwidth, let's go ahead and connect to any one of these proxies and see if they are actually working. So navigate back to your free proxy list. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go with the second one on the list. Now, in order to connect to residential proxies, if you're using an iPhone, I recommend Potato. And if you're using an Android, the app I recommend is Super Proxy. Tap on Add Service. When you see this pop-up, tap on Manual Input. Change the type to SOX5. Keep in mind, all residential proxies are SOX5. Your server is your proxy address. Copy and paste your port number. 
give it a display name of your choice. Change authentication method from none to password. Now fill in your username and your password. After you are done filling all the information, tap on the check button at the top right corner. And just like that, you have successfully configured your residential proxies. So now it's time to connect. Tap on the connect button to connect your residential proxies. If you see this pop up on your screen, tap on the allow button so that Potato will install its VPN and proxy configurations in your backend. Now your residential proxies have been connected successfully. So go ahead and head over to your browser and do a HUA test to make sure. And as you can see, we have successfully changed our IP address from our local country to the UK and London. And we are even getting a 100% disguise score on HUA. That is how powerful residential proxies are. Okay, so back on our dashboard, if you go ahead and check your bandwidth usage, you will notice that it is starting to depreciate. As you can see over there, it says I've used 2.1% out of my 1GB bandwidth. Now, if you want more proxies, let me show you how you can do that. Tap on the menu icon at the top left corner. When the side menu pops up, Tap on plans and pricing. Over here on this page, select static residential. On the static residential page, you need to select your exclusivity. Whether you want shared proxies, which is proxies that more than two users are using, private proxies, which is proxies that are shared between one to two users, and dedicated proxies, which are proxies that are fully owned by you alone. After that, you need to choose the number of proxies that you want to buy. Next, you need to choose your bandwidth size. After that, choose the location for your proxies. Now, keep in mind that you can choose multiple locations for your proxies. You don't need to just choose one location. You can mix it up if you want. After that, you need to choose how often you want your proxy list to be refreshed. Now, this is important and vital because sometimes your proxies can stop working along the way. So you need to refresh the list and replace the proxies that are no more working or in other words, the proxies that are dead. So choose how often you want your proxy list to be refreshed. So if you decide to go with the recurring replacements, webshare.io will do the replacement for you automatically. But if you decide to go with the manual replacement option, you need to choose the number of proxy or IPs that you want to replace manually. For the additional features, it's not something I recommend for someone who just wants to create social media accounts, do surveys and other simple tags that you want to do on the internet. Those features in the additional feature section are for people who want to do a little bit more complex stuff. So if you are done making your selections, you will see your total cost over there. All you have to do is tap on continue. Enter your card details and make the payments and you receive your proxies in your dashboard and you can start using them. So that is how you can get access to paid residential proxies. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please leave a like if you did and also share this video with someone who wants to get access to paid residential proxies and I'll see you guys in the next update. Peace.